Alright, so I had a request to make a video on how to insert codes into your action replay for Game Boy Advance. Um, so, what I'm using here is my Game Shark by Interact that I upgraded to using the Action Replay version 3 software. So, I have another video on how to do that. It's easy to find on my channel, but now I'm using the Action Replay hardware. I'm on my Game Boy. It's pretty hard to see, I know. Sorry about that. There's not much I can do. Um, you can only use these on the actual Game Boy Advance, not the um, DS or newer consoles. But, uh, Putting in a code, not very difficult. You have four options on this main screen here. Um, the first is start game, which is what you would choose if you wanted to play using whatever codes you wanted. Um, select game is what you choose if you want to select or deselect codes. So you would do this first, pick the codes you want, and then start your game. Options is just for different settings, um, but what we want for putting in codes is management. So we'll go into management. Um, you again have four options. Add or edit game, which is um, specifically for the game options as well as delete game and then on the right here is add or edit code and then on the bottom delete code so of course if you want to add or edit a code then you go to add or edit code pretty simple um, I have Pokemon Ruby selected um, if I wanted to add a code I would just select it and then on the top add new code um, you would then put in the name, click done, and then put in the code. So I don't usually use this method. Um, it's pretty tedious, and um, when you have access to the computer program to add codes, um, doing this really becomes pointless. But sometimes I'll do it if I want to add something quickly. Um, you know, just a little two-line code, and I don't feel like hooking it all up to the computer and everything. So, um, you do have this option, uh, and it's pretty easy to do. Uh, so, now I'll explain how to do it on the computer program. So this is really the best way to add codes to your... Action Replay for Game Boy Advance, um, back on my virtual box for Windows 2000. Um, like I said in my previous video, you don't need Windows 2000, but really any, um, any Windows operating system prior to 2007, I think, should be uh, sufficient. Um, so I just pulled up the Action Replay GBX computer software here. I talked about this pretty, um, significantly in my other video on this topic, um, where I showed you how to upgrade, um, your device. But as far as the codes go, we obviously want to go into this codes box over here. Um, saves is something else. Um, it's all very self-explanatory. There's going to be these many hundreds of codes built into the program itself. Um, mostly anything you would want. Um, you can't really do anything with importing them from online code junkies it, it doesn't work um, it's unfortunate but um, 
what you do is you select a game here on the left um, and then it'll show the codes for that game on the right. Um, if you want to add one then you would simply go to manual entry and this little um, screen will pop up here and you can put whatever game name you want um, if you want it to go inside the folder for a game that's already here like see Mario Kart is here so if I put in Mario Kart then it will go into that folder if you want to add a new game then you simply okay so my camera died but I'm back now so it's pretty simple you put your game name in make sure it matches one that's already here or if your game isn't already um, in the program then you would have to start a new folder for it put the master code in um, you can just put it as like parentheses M or something like that um, and then you do the codes one line at a time and click add code um, until you see it all in this box here and then OK and it'll show up um, on the right here in the codes for that game so once you want to send the codes to your action replay then you hook it up by USB and click on the check mark for the game that you want and highlight the codes that you want and click restore um, and you want to make sure that you click on this ARGBX button first so that it can scan which codes are already on your device and then you can come back to this PC database which is just the codes that you have here on your software and then when you click restore then they'll go back onto your game um, so it's pretty simple I mean the process in a nutshell is click manual entry put the codes that you want in hook up your device click ARGBX wait for them to load on then come back over to PC database highlight the ones you want and restore so that's really it. Um, it should only take a couple minutes. I mean, in, um, putting in all of the codes on this program can take a little while. Luckily, you can just copy and paste everything in, which saves you a lot of time from manually doing it on the device. So it's not too bad. Um, let me know if you have any other questions, and I hope this helped. Uh, see you next time. Bye.